Hi Game Changers, Natasha Watley here. Today we are talking about creating a plan at the plate. One of the worst things that you can do as a hitter is walk up to the plate without having a plan. Now I'll tell you, in my younger playing days, I definitely thought that I can walk up to the plate and get away with that see ball, hit ball mentality. Which I'll tell you, once you're facing better pitchers, you're playing at a higher level, smarter pitchers, you definitely have to create a plan. You have to create a plan on the pitches that you're gonna eliminate and the pitches that you're gonna go for. And the way that you go about this is you first have to start with assessing the pitcher. You then have to assess the situation and then you have to think about your own personal strengths. What is it that you are good at hitting? And that's how you can start to X out the pitches that you're not gonna go for and hone in on the pitches that you're gonna hunt for and go for. First, let's talk about assessing the pitcher. We first wanna think about the actual pitches that she's throwing. Is she throwing a rise ball, a drop ball, a curve ball, a change up? We, just want to kind of get into a rhythm of what she's actually throwing. Then take it a step further and actually think of what does she throw in different counts? What does she throw when she's behind the account? If she's 0 and 2 and she's ahead in the account, what is she throwing in each of these um, uh, situations? Also too, we want to think about her grip. Is she tipping off of any of her pitches? If her hands are spread apart, that means she's throwing the changeup. If her hands are closer together, if we see knuckles, if we see pinky up or pinky down, those are the things that you kind of want to stay in tune. These are all things that pitchers sometimes, they'll tip off when they go into their windup, when they start to present the ball. Number two, assessing the situation, we want to think about what is going on in the game. How many outs are there? Are there no outs, one out, two outs? We also want to assess if we've got base runners on, are the bases loaded, we've got a runner on first, we've got a runner on second. Um, I'm in a situation where I need to move a runner, I've got a runner on first, I've got to think about pitches that I can actually get in play where I can hit behind her. So I may be starting to look for inside pitches. So learning to assess the situation that way. Also too, take into account the umpire zone. Does he have a wide zone that day? Does he have a small zone? If he has a wide zone, that means that I can't be as careful when the pitcher is going to try to hit the corners. That means if he's got a smaller zone, that I can be a little bit more patient when the pitcher throws on the corners, that I can take more pitches. When assessing the situation, always think about looking at where the defenders are playing you because that can also give you some answers on to what pitches that you might be receiving. If all of the defenders are shaded up the middle um, on the left side of the defense and the right side of the defense is shaded towards the three, four hole, you've got your second baseman covering the three, four hole, I'm a lefty, that might mean I might be getting some inside pitches. So once you can start to assess where those defenders are, it might give you some answers on the pitches that you might receive. Number three is knowing your personal strengths. Knowing what you like as a hitter, is going to get you to the next level right away. So if I know that I struggle on outside pitches, that's one pitch that I know right off from the start that I can eliminate. I can sit and I can wait for my pitch, I can wait for something inside, of course, until I have two strikes. Once I have two strikes, then that's when you have to open up your zone. But prior to that, you can really be patient and focus on the pitches that you're comfortable with, that you're confident in, and that you know are your strengths. Just to reiterate everything that we talked about today, when creating a plan, we one, want to make sure that we are assessing the pitcher. Two, we are assessing the situation, the things that are going on in the game. And three, taking in our own personal strengths into account. One way to really, really get good at this is being a spectator. I know when I was younger, I used to study MLB games. I would watch them. I would watch what the defenders were doing. I would look what the catcher was doing, what the pitcher was doing, um, and even watching co college games. So if you can get to that point where you're being a spectator and trying to just pick up on all, those, all of those things, I really think that it will help you when you start to go and create your own plan.